is contributing to another factor, which is health illiteracy and educational disparities is the culprit. So in lower socioeconomic communities, the schools are under-resourced. It's not that the children aren't as smart. It is that the schools are under-resourced. And so the children are not having a full opportunity to learn and to develop their minds. And consequently, they don't have enough information. As they become adults, they are not familiar with it, what they need to know to be healthy. And that leads to health illiteracy in families. So many people do not understand what their doctors are saying to them at all. They have no idea because they don't know how to process the information that is being shared with them. Because a lot of medical information is in codes anyway. Um, I know when I was in school working on my master's degree, I had to take a medical terminology course so I could read charts so that I could do an antibiotic study. And when I started to read these charts, I thought, oh my goodness, this is completely coded. I, I have to learn all kinds of things in order to read these charts. How does the average person take a look at their chart? They can have no way of knowing what's going on in here. They must rely on the doctor to tell them everything and believe it. Correct? Right. So, the book has the term solutions in the title. Because what I believe is that, okay, okay, we know what the problems are. We've been hearing them forever. We can all list them. Some of you are probably nodding, yes, yes, I learned that in class, I know that, I see this, I understand. But the question is, how can we solve the problem? So, I developed a chart on page 41. And this is what I call my idealistic chart. And it is about health equity. Elimination of unjust escalating negative factors. The drug war, the school to prison pipeline, prison profiteering, and mass incarceration. Get rid of it. That would be the ideal solution. Economic justice and overall social justice, including food justice, and cultural and linguistic competency in all areas. That would be an ideal scenario. My prior two books are about cultural competency and linguistic competency because this changing demographic <coughs> is going to require that we all understand how to deal with different cultures. And so cultural competency and linguistic competency, because we have many people in the United States who do not speak English, uh, we have to work with that. Next, quality education, employment opportunities, universal health care, and health <coughs> literacy for all. It seems like a basic requirement, but we don't have that going on. Because we do not have universal health care in America. We do not have it. We did not get it with Obamacare. It is not universal health care. These are four profit corporations who are traded on the stock market that out of our checks, if you are working, money goes to them. That is how it works. Universal health care exists in every other industrialized nation on this earth except for the United States. This is a reality. And so we didn't have it before Obamacare. We didn't have it with Obamacare, and we're definitely not going to have it in the near future. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Why? Because medicine in the United States, healthcare, is about profit. It's a business. It's a billion dollar industry, including the pharmaceutical industry. Mm. So the only way that we can improve that is by taking the money out of healthcare in a capitalist nation. So I don't know how it's going to happen. but. That's the ideal, if it could happen. 